When you think of monuments in South Dakota, you probably go to Mount Rushmore, but there are plenty others scattered throughout the state. In this week's Flashback Friday, we take you back to 1988 for a look at the markers that line the, the border of the Dakotas. Farmers in the Hecla area always know if their livestock are in North Dakota or South Dakota. 800-pound quartzite markers clearly establish the state line. But while border residents like Harold Treby have long marveled at the markers, they have never known much about them. Well, we wonder, We often wondered then why, why every half mile, maybe it was necessary, but it seemed like a little bit strange to us. But a University of North Dakota professor who has been researching the border markers for 10 years now says they were put in place at the request of Congress in 1891 and 92. Dr. Gordon Eisminger says the reason for the markers was simple. Back then, nobody knew for sure exactly where the border was. So South Dakota Senator Richard Pettigrew urged Congress to appropriate $25,000 to survey the land and place the Sioux Falls court site, a job that must have been a monumental task back in its day. Well, it must have been. Uh, they had to come in by railroad and then by haul up by wagon, and it must have been a big job. Although some of the markers have fallen over the years or been moved to accommodate road construction, many still stand in their original spots. Mike Simonson, Kelloland News, Brown County. If you want to see more stories from our archive, head to kelloland.com and search for Flashback Friday. I'm curious if all those markers are still there. Yeah, I mean, they can't be easy to move at 800 I pounds. So I think <laughs> not. And of course, you have the Dakota marker as a yeah. trophy mm -hmm. for the football game between SDSU and NDSU. Yeah. I'm guessing that one is not 800 pounds. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> you can verify that. <laughs> I have not lifted it, but I guarantee you it's not 800 pounds. Good. Long.